If you ever get hard while working with .NET, there's a solution since .NET 8, because since then there are frozen dictionaries. This is a new type of dictionary that is designed to provide optimized reading performance. You can create such a frozen dictionary from an existing dictionary by calling the extension method toFrozenDictionary. You can also call toFrozenDictionary on an i enumerable of key value pairs or on an i enumerable with any value. Then you have to specify selectors for the key and the value. Whichever way you choose, once such a frozen dictionary is created, you can't make any changes to it, as it is immutable. This is one of the drawbacks of this new dictionary type. On the other hand, what you get is much better looker performance, which is the main purpose of it. Easy creation from existing dictionaries or I enumerables is another plus. Possible disadvantages are the slow construction. To get a better look at performance, you have to wait a little bit longer for the creation than for a normal dictionary. Also, the performance improvement is most noticeable when using string keys. For other types of keys, the performance gain might not be as significant. Also, you need to do a lot of lookups to get a net performance gain considering the time it takes to build a frozen dictionary. Where could such a frozen dictionary be useful? Well, in scenarios where you fill in the data once at the beginning and only do lookups as you go along. For example, some kind of application settings that you read at the application startup or a special algorithm that loads data at the beginning and uses that data for its calculations. But what is the difference between a frozen dictionary and a normal dictionary in terms of performance? I did some benchmarks to find out. I created a dictionary and a frozen dictionary with 100, 1000 and 10,000 elements and performed lookups on both. These are the results. As you can see, in every scenario, the frozen dictionary is significantly faster for both string and integer keys. For more detailed performance insights regarding frozen dictionary, see the blog article I linked in the description. It is very interesting. It also deals with the performance of creating such a frozen dictionary, which is much slower than for a normal dictionary. Alright, that's it for this video. How about you? Have you ever used frozen dictionary? Feel free to share your experience in the comments. If you want to know what's the most performant way to do dictionary lookups in C-sharp, watch this video next. Thanks for watching, bye!